Hello and a warm welcome to the show. In this episode, I have an amazing guest who will be sharing her story with us. Stay tuned. Sana. Sante sana. Briefly introduce yourself. I'm Glory Kanana Njagi from Tharakaniti County, um, Mwembe Ward to be precise. Okay. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much. I'm humbled. Okay. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm a tour agent by profession. Uh, yeah, I do travel operations. Uh, and hospitality, I can also be hospitable at some point. Yeah, that is all I can say. Okay, tell us a little bit about your childhood. Oh, uh, my childhood was fun. It was fun, very much fun, because I grew in a family that loved going to church. We were mentored together. <clears throat> we are five of us, mm -hmm. so we grew intact. We grew being, we were raised in a manner that would please anyone, mm -hmm. yeah. Tell us about your college life. Okay, my college life was fun. It was fun. And um, at Kenya Utali, you were, you were taught a lot. We were taught a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, we used to call it an advanced advanced high school because you couldn't wear mini skirts, you couldn't go to school while you're drunk, you couldn't if you're sleeping in school you couldn't go outside and come back. Maybe late hours you would write a lot of letters explaining why you're outside. Um, at Kenya Utali, you were taught a lot because that is where I learned to control my anger. That is where I was taught on how to handle customers mm -hmm. uh, yeah so that is it and i studied for two and a half years and while while we were at the end of it all i got pregnant so in kenya italy so when you get pregnant you would go for a year outside then come back mm -hmm. again Okay, hold on. On the same. So you said Utali College was like high school, meaning there are rules. Of course, yes. every institution has got rules. Mm -hmm. But when you institutions, you feel like you have a life. Is that how you're feeling when you're in college? Like, you have a high school um, where there are too many rules, and then you have a college where there are too many rules? Like, did you feel like when you have a life, like you're not enjoying yourself. Okay, si kukaziwa as such, mm -hmm. si ile kukaziwa as such, but you know, kuna ile university you would miss class for consecutive a week or consecutive 3 days mm -hmm. and nobody would bother Kenya utali they will call your parent, my friend. Mm -hmm. They will tell you parent you've missed class for 3 days they can't see you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, Kuna other schools, other universities, you would wear mini skirts and walk around and off shoulders. In Kenya Utali, you are not allowed to wear off shoulders and mini skirts. Okay. So, so yeah. you did like uniforms? Did you have not uniforms? really uniforms? Okay, there are some courses that wear uniforms, but tourism you don't wear uniforms. Okay. Like be decent. Oh. Yeah, you don't wear rugged okay. and walk around Kenya Utali. No, they don't allow, allow that. that. All right. So you got pregnant. Yes, I got pregnant. Tell us about that. Um. Okay. It was tough because you can imagine you're in college, you're around, <clears throat> you, 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 you're going to finish, to do your, your, your last exam. 
the final exam pap na ndo kwa na mimba okay ulipata mimba ya mse mwenye bulikuwa una date ama oh you, you can imagine at 21 i was in a serious relationship so ni mse nilikuwa na date yeah so ni kapata ball na mlikuwa mna date for how long oh maybe for two two years tulikuwa tumejuana for two years mm-hmm. then i got pregnant actually i got pregnant for a guy my parents weren't so sure with ama they didn't love but unajua tu kishapenda mtu hata uambiwa aje uwezi sikia yeah you don't listen so like your parents walikuwa nakwambia you be cautious with this guy yeah. like i don't want to see you with this guy mm-hmm. i don't i don't like him mm-hmm. so i'm like me i love him so I don't see a big deal. So you didn't listen to what your parents I didn't listen. I didn't listen. Okay. Did you plan to get pregnant? No. Mm-hmm. I didn't plan to get pregnant. So I was enjoying myself then. Nikapata nikalamimba. I called the the boyfriend and told him, "You know what? I've missed my period." He's like, "Wow, congratulations." I'm like, "No. It is not going to happen. I'm still in school. Sijafanya final exam. I need to do my final exam. You know, you can understand how will I even tell my parents that I'm pregnant? Yeah. So that is how it happened. So at some point ikafika point I couldn't hold it anymore. I told my my friend. Mm-hmm. Um and my friend was so positive about it. Uh she's called Cynthia Kinyi. I still remember her to date and she told me you know what soon amaliza shule you can still have your kid and come back for the for the internship and maybe life will be good yeah. and I listened to her she was positive yeah she was so positive okay the 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 the, the boyfriend was also positive but I was not ready okay so. did you go to see a doctor maybe to get no. checked I didn't <laughs> no. <laughs> no, actually I started my clinics while I was six months. Six months. Yeah. Why did you wait for that long? Like six months. Like for one I don't want to say that I'm pregnant. I don't want to tell my parents. Mm-hmm. I don't want anybody to know. Mm-hmm. Secondly, if the school if the college knows that you're pregnant, you're going to be sent away for a year. Mm-hmm. Then come back and finish. So I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do my exams and I wanted to go for internship so mm-hmm. I had to shut up so ukaficha ukaficha what about the baby actually kuna watu blessed now <laughs> kuna watu wale beli zao they don't get big so yeah, like yeah. mine ilitokea na 8 months oh. na 8 months niko karibu kufanya final exam so hawaizi niambie niende mm. so I had to to wait and do the exam but so, now So but now I had to to kuficha like I would wear jumpers hata kukwe na jua I'm still on, on my jumpers mm. yeah ukificha and mm. stuff and then so ukafika the 8 month ukena osi oh now it happened um well seven months I called my mom mm. you know now nimekaribia kufanya final exam and after the final exam I have to go home mm. so do I go home so I have to go to my parents yeah. So I called my mom. Hen kambia mom una jua aje mazemi niko na niko na ball. Just like that. <laughs> like <laughs> like that. Na nikakata simu. I don't have to beat around the bush manze it happened it happened. Mm-hmm. So my mom the first question aliniuliza ni ya nani? Ni ya ule jamaa mwenye hapendi. Mm-hmm. Una get? Mm-hmm. So nikamwambia ni ya. Wao jamaa alikuwa anaitwa Deno. Kambia ni ya Deno. Hey I do know what my mama asked me. Na nikoleze. Kwa hiyo shule yenu hakunanga condoms. I'm like, "Mom, it happened." So I went silent and akakata simu. So after two hours she called back. Can you listen? Have you ever gone to clinics? Have you ever attended clinics? I'm like, "I've never gone to clinics." Why? I don't know. Um I'm, I'm, I'm just there. So akaniambia tomorrow in the morning mm-hmm. um uamke go to a public hospital and start clinics so I'm like okay the following day I went to to the clinic and do you know what I I, I saw a call nikwako clinic 
my HOD is calling me right now. Nifanyaje? So in our class back in college, tulikuwa wadogo, tulikuwa like tulikuwa 12. So she knew kila mtu. Oh, okay. eh, she knew kila mtu ki hata daro na jo fulani hayuko class. Mm. Unaona? So she called me and she told me I want to see you in my office in the next one hour. Okay. So I went. Oh, nikatoka clinic, nikamaliziwa, nikapewa ka kitabu, nikamaliziwa. I'm only 22. On the same, let me ask you a question. When you went to the hospital to get checked, were you like tense? Like, you go on your eighth month, how you don't know whether the baby is okay or not? Were you were tense? Um, I was not because it's something that I never wanted. It's something that I never accepted. It's something I was not ready for. I don't even have money. I'm depending on my parents. So, you know, So like, yeah. whatever happens happens you know okay. i'm just here mm-hmm. so my hod called me i went and she told me um today i just needed to talk to you i'm like okay talk to me so unajua nimevaa jumper sidhani anaelewa but she's a grown woman you know anajua mm-hmm. so akaniambia have come to realize that you are pregnant i'm like yes i am pregnant She told me it's okay there's no problem because unamaliza utafanya exam umalize there's no problem you just got your exam ukimaliza okay, after that tutajua vile tutafanya mm. so and that's it at people were saying she's bad she's not friendly me she was friendly to me yeah so i did my final exam na hiyo ndo exam nilipita kabisa actually hiyo ndo exam nilipita kabisa So at at Utali tulikuwa tunapikiwa shule. Do you know when you're pregnant you have cravings? Today you yeah. feel like eating this. Mm-hmm. You don't feel like eating nyama, you know. Kenya Utali mnapikiwa nyama, leo kesho nyama, kesho kutoa nyama and you don't feel like eating and you don't want to tell anybody. So I was I was so much you know depressed actually. I used to faint by the way mm-hmm. because I didn't have I didn't have enough blood. So yeah it was hell it was hectic to survive in college you're pregnant you don't want your parents to know that you're pregnant you don't you want your friends to know that you're pregnant you know mm-hmm. it was hectic all right ah uh, this is an amazing story going on right here on golden act tv we'll take a short break and be right back for more Welcome back. So you are on your eight, eighth month pregnant. The HOD anajua. Okay. And then uka unafanya exams. So did you tell your friends? Actually, um my roommates, my roommates walikuwa anajua and the friend who who was so positive about it, au walikuwa anajua. But how wengine class maybe maybe the rumors on other two of course rumors lazima zene that you're pregnant yeah, yeah. no that's it i survived but it was not a good environment to stay in okay. yeah so what happened after you did your exams so i did my exams and went back home mm-hmm. so actually i called the boyfriend and told him you know what i'm done with my exams so kindly i'm coming back home So the boyfriend told me before when the nyumbani si upitie. Oh so she so he's not like hakuanga shule. Ah uh, hakuwa shule. Oh. So kaniambia si upitie so I I I packed everything and came back to Tarakanithi. 
and I pitied the boyfriend. So the following day he took me home. Mm -hmm. So, and I went home. We found my dad actually sitting outside. So sa sayu me vaile dera and your belly is here. So, so my dad was, he was a little bit positive. I won't say he was negative. He welcomed me home. So, you know, the question my dad asked me, Ali Niuliza, if this guy at some point atafika na kateu mtoto, what will you do? Nikamambia nitalea tu. You know, I'm positive now, I'm, 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 I'm positive now because I'm eight months, siezi tuwa hii mimba. You know, you have to, to accept. Yeah. So, nikamambia nitalea tu. Kanyambia, mm -hmm. you're sure? Are you sure about this? Mm -hmm. Nikamambia, yeah, nitalea, I'm positive about it. He's <laughs> like, ah yeah, kama utalea, ni sawa. Mm -hmm. So, he told the guy, uh, in the evening, come, because we will have a meeting. Just the four of us, my mom, my dad, my, the boyfriend, and myself. Mm -hmm. So the guy went, and the evening he came. So he told the guy, it is okay, me, I don't have a problem. I don't know what you had planned. I don't know if it is God's plans. I don't know. But now I had to go back to school to finish my attachment. Okay, on the same, eh? Before you tell us about the attachment. Okay. So umefika home, umepeleko na deno. Yeah. Uh, so your dad was welcoming. What about your mom? Was she welcoming or she was kind of disappointed? M my mom was disappointed. Even my dad. My dad was more disappointed, by, but my, my dad was not showing. But my mom, my mom, ni ule mse to your face. Like, manze mi umeni, mi mi umeni disappoint. So my mom was, okay. There's a saying in Kimeru says, she used to tell me, Makinyamwele, makauda. Kifika kwa mili jakuwa, you know. Yeah. And she was okay. Utafanya aji. There's nothing she can do. She won't beat me up. Yeah. yeah. So eventually she accepted exactly. and adjusted. Mm -hmm. So mefikisho home. Na they know your parents are there. So ulikana kidogo wakaenda ama what happened? Uh, they know alienda. Mm -hmm. Akarudi juoni. So sele mbwa juoni kuna meeting. Mm -hmm. So he came back juoni. Mm -hmm. So that's why nakwambia nilikuwa ni rudi shule kulikuwa na attachment and this attachment was supposed to be paid certain amount of money mm -hmm. so my dad <coughs> that evening he told uh, he told the boyfriend that it is okay me I'll pay for my daughter the money that is needed yeah. come come January because I had to defer for a year mm -hmm. so he told me me I don't have a problem I'll educate my daughter because she's my daughter mm -hmm. I won't chase her away mm -hmm. But for your kid, you're going to take care of your kid. Mm, okay. And the guy was so positive about it. So I'm home, I'm, I'm, I'm pregnant. You know, Nyumbani, you know, the village will talk, the mama will talk, of course. Yeah. So how did that make you feel? Like, maybe ukipita, watu wanaongea, they're like, hey, kalipata board, you know. Ilikuwa inafanya una feel aje. Manzei yo feeling ata sipo ata kidogo. Alafu, I come from a family where I can say it is royal. So, you know, hi, uyo, alipata amemba. Na vile kwa unona, unona such kind of stories. Na vile amesomea Kenya Utali, so you like, kwa ni mtu from Kenya Utali is not allowed to get pregnant or what? Yeah. No, it was not good. It is not good up to now because people still do talk. Of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, how did you manage to get through all those things? You know, <laughs> my, my mom became my best friend. After all that, the scolding, the, the kutetesho, my mom became my best friend. Mm -hmm. She used to encourage me, you know, you, it is your life. You're here. Look at the other girls who are my member and they're here and they have kids, now wanna hustle. So, you know, you get, mm -hmm. she used to encourage me, kabisa. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But actually my dad used to buy me something and aniletea juoni. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That was so good of them, you know, yeah, exactly. for being there and encouraging you and stuff. So, we got eight months bado, Cindy. Yeah. Let's say eight months in in the ninth nine month. Months. Mm. So nine months is here, and then you delivered. Yes, I delivered. And then after that, um, after the delivery, I came back home. Mm -hmm. So actually, the boyfriend was in Nairobi. 
after like that is nikalea mtoto i came back home everybody is happy i have a kid mm. you know my dad at used to call me mama came at some point but they, actually i never i i never i never knew that my dad would love my kids so much nilikuwa nafikiria eh mtoto wetu ni sawa tu haina shida juu sina place nyingine ya kwenda but my dad was so friendly but they he loved that kid mm. like he's mm. so the boyfriend is in, in Nairobi and he came back job ikaisha akarudi 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 meru mm-hmm. so nona niko na mtoi mtoi nini nimerudi attachment nimemaliza attachment nimekuja home life is not easy yeah. covid mm-hmm. so <laughs> you know the pressure this guy used to give me like you know what we book kuja tukae like now you have my kids you kuja tukaanishe i'm like okay i love you but at the same time niko home siezi ku siezi kuja so i loved this guy to an extent of i i decided to go so your time to yeli kwanga how old um to yeli kwa one and a half when and how uh, so you decided to move in with a guy yes i decided to move in with a guy that is in 2020 2020 mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. did you yeah, tell your parents no i didn't uli escape to like um it was tough i didn't have a job so you know i told my dad in nairobi there is a job ni meitwa mahali so i'll go do you know my dad atali ni tafuti affair Sometimes we're very stupid. So I went to the and I went to Nairobi. Okay. But see job will go na. See job will go. Nilikuwa natafuta escape ya kutoka home. Nende kwa Denu. That time he was staying in Nairobi. No, he was staying. Alikuwa sha move out from Nairobi so alikuwa na ka Chogoria. So ulienda Chogoria ta si Nairobi. No, I went to Nairobi. I went to my auntie's place. Nikaka for a week. Then vile sasa nilikuja hivi mm-hmm. i went back i went straight kwa denu mm. okay so nikaenda kwa denu nikapata hey this is this is not exactly what i expected lakini because i love this guy mm-hmm. let me vumilia okay. so what did you find um like you know kuna ile una expect you'll you will find something smooth it is not smooth actually because for one i don't have a job mm-hmm. job yake imesha huko amekuja huko so ni kitu ya ku hustle mm-hmm. so ana hustle it is not easy so na nishatoka home na sijasema nimeenda wapi mimi nilidanganya nimeenda nairobi mm-hmm. na siezi pigia mzazi home una get yeah. so ilikuwa a little bit hard and now you are starting from scratch okay. yeah Yeah and you are ready to start with him from scratch. Ready, fully prepared. I mean, I mean you loved him. Hey, my baby. I loved him. Okay, so we move in there then what happened? Ni mu move in there so uh mtu hii ako kwa mama yake. Vile nilienda attachment, my mom is very busy and my dad. So mama angepata time ya like kunishikilia mtu hii. So the mother, the mother was okay. Mm-hmm. It is my it is my son's and so yeah. let me shikilia you guys who rudi shule so the the kid ako kwa mama yake so it is just the two of us and this is not easy ju mm-hmm. mumeanza from scratch mm-hmm. you guys are starting kununua sufuria vijiko you know mm-hmm. and oh, now my dad amejua niko within so he called me i don't pick ana nipigia sichukui ana nipigia sichukui so he decided to call the guy mm-hmm. uh, i have had kanana akokwa mm-hmm. and the guy was yes akokwa there is no problem mm-hmm. so my dad is like ni sawa there is no problem but no jo mzazi anasema ni sawa because ana option nyingine mm-hmm. but deep down si sawa mm-hmm. una get yeah. so he's like okay and that is now where i started my marriage life okay you know you are 20 23 23 to uratan 24 and you married you have someone in the house who is your husband mzazi hajui wewe ulienda enda uko aje yani unaona tu mzazi tu wako sawa hata by the way kitu nimerudi ku realize like 
your parents will accept no matter what you do itawauma lakini wata accept but deep down they are not even happy about it yeah. Yeah. so that is why i started my journey being married early mm-hmm. you know i have a kid nimepata mtoto alafu sasa nimeolewa at 23 mm-hmm. and that is where it all began so we would we would persevere everything to make my my marriage happy ama our marriage happy mm-hmm. alafu mimi nimetoka kwa ile background ya my dad would even wash utensils maybe clean the house maybe maybe wash my mom's clothes while she's not feeling well but i just found it is opposite so we me grow kiona hiyo me me grow ni kiona hiyo so according to you ah, ni normal, ni normal. It, it is normal but sasa nimekuja kwa nyumba yenye hata ukiacha kikombe kwa meza <laughs> utaipata hapo <laughs> utaipata maluliacha mm-hmm. like um okay my dad at right now he she can cook for us while we are seated kwa table room na anapika so you know me i'm like see you can cook mm. he's like me i can't cook okay and i'm like okay there's no problem no problem no problem i'm married mm. so that is where my problem started mm-hmm. so una just at home madia shajua niko kwake anisha mtoi kila kitu but mtoi alikuwa anaka kwa madhake so ni sisi tu wawili up and down ya na hustle mimi niko kwa nyumba sina sina job sina do so namdependia fully eh eh ni kitu si rahisi hapana yeah. it is not easy like you depending you depending on someone fully like you don't have anything at a 50 bob at a madhi akakupigia simu akwambia in the next 20 minutes i want you to be in my compound like lazima mpige simu mwambie manze sunsaidia 20 bob nifike home you place ni tulikuwa tunakaa na kufika home ilikuwa 20 bob so lazima umwambie ama you decide to walk because hauna na lazima mpige and that is the worst mistake i ever did yeah in my life Okay, why do you think it was the worst mistake you ever did? Because for one I didn't have money. Mm-hmm. Mm. You are not financially stable, stable at all. Mm. And okay, not not to me alone, but sisi kila mtu kama madem. Like kwa tu na pesa yako before you venture into marriage ama you get into marriage, just have your own money. Mm. Because ile mother of peer ufuatana na kutokuwa na pesa ni mingi. Mm. So madara we kaanza lazima uombe hata kama tuseme hauna sapa kwa hao utangoja mpaka akuja hata kikuja saa tatu tumemngoja tu unaenda unanunua unga na tusukuma unakuja unakaanga you guys eat mm. that is the worst mistake you can ever do okay yeah so ume move in na kana yeye and uh, you thought maybe you will figure the whole thing out together yes and then you kafika place akanza to madharau ah. so like you would go out come back late in the evening where to kwa hapo unamngoja and sometimes ulikuwa na mwamba sometimes anakunyima atakwambia hana na akiwa nayo ama anakunyima tu so uwezi jo unajua pesa hii yenye haiko kwa mfuko yako uwezi jua kama iko ama haiko ukinyimwa tu unasema tu ni sawa maybe umenyimwa hana ama maybe umenyimwa na uko nayo na hataki kukupea mm-hmm. so you don't know and everything you have to do you know you have to involve him because you don't have money to do it mm. yeah okay mm-hmm. and then what happened so your time hukwa na job hukwa na job so did you go out to look for a job i was looking for jobs here and there mm-hmm. i was looking for jobs hapa na pale nilikuwa na drop mpaka cvs mm-hmm. but sasa maybe una mbiango when when, the, when it's not the right time So maybe I could go the right time. Maybe God wanted to show me something. Uh, maybe God wanted to teach me lessons, you know. Yeah, yeah. Ani shape ni kai vizuri niambie eh. Mzazi alikuwa anakwambia usiolewa mapema lakini wewe umejileta kuja uone vile kunaendanga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, money I think money is everything <laughs> at, at some point because haikukuwa rahisi ni kitu sometimes mother ananipigia simu ananiambia manze sunside at 500 i don't have even that 500 and i don't want to say back at home manze na kapitia mm. unaget siezi mwambia na kuwa naonyesha madhe mimi niko sawa mm. cuz una void akwambia si kwambia kwambia si i told you si i want you mm. so sikukuwa nasema 
mimi nilikuwa navumilia tu mm-hmm. unavumilia tu unavumilia tu so <laughs> on that story of having money mm-hmm. um okay mimi nimegrow mimi nimegrow kwa familia church you know so ikafika place mtoi wangu madhia kaniambia eh hey, man, manzi na si dedicate tu mtoi hii kwa church mm-hmm. so it's a, there's no problem so my 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 baby daddy hakukuwa anataka kwenda church and i said there's no problem so i forced him kwenda church mm-hmm. to dedicate at least mtoi hii yeah. so having your own money as i said it is very important because do you know you take sacrifice una palakanga sacrifice at least kwa altar na mtu yeye amededicatiwa so i didn't have money but kwa ile 20 bobe ni housewife anaekanga kidogo kidogo nilikuwa na mia so i expected because i had told him earlier this sunday tunaenda ku dedicate mtu he he will look he will look for something hata kama ni kadogo hata kama ni 500 shillings you know this guy came he came late to me dedicate mtu tuna tunaenda ku dedicate mtu mm. and he just gave me a hundred bob Ooh. so niko na so nyingine na yeye amenipea so kaongezeka okay. fika tu tu so nikaeka kwa ile baasha and i literally cried because okay pesa si yangu lakini at least mbona mbona at least so ngitafuta tamia tano kuje nayo it will look presentable, presentable yeah. you know But at the same time I didn't feel bad because ni mimi nilijipeleka for one six set alinikujia kwetu mimi ndo nilikuwa nimejipeleka mm-hmm. so it is not easy being married ali uko 23 or married unafua nguo unaosha vyombo so ukachukua hiyo 200 ukaeka kwa envelope yeah mm-hmm. and that's it mm-hmm. maybe the tukaenda church mtoto akadedicatiwa maybe uko mbele pastor ndio aliona aya kumbe ni 200 ilikuwa imekokobasha i don't know what <laughs> But you felt bad about all that. Actually I felt bad. Okay. So you are still living together okay. and na huna job. Mhm. Woo, yeye yeah, alikuwa na job ama ni hustle. Ni hustle yeah. tu hapa na pale. Mhm. Mm-hmm. So it come sometime anakuambia hai leo leo sijadhukuma. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Leo sina. Okay. So what did you do? You know you have to think like a woman you have to think mm-hmm. like Hana. Yeah sasa so sijui kama hana ya ukweli ama ana ya uongo mm-hmm. so you have to think maybe kwa na kaunga you just cook and you just bring to the table and you guys eat okay. na maybe asubuhi ya mke ya and the hustle mm-hmm. umeachwa kwa nyumba nani you just there okay yeah. you did not contemplate on maybe trying some other things like maybe kufulia watu nguo you know to survive you um i used to kufulia mama fulani later on kufulia mama fulani in the neighborhood alikuwa mwalimu so naenda namfulia na nilipa 300 mm-hmm. i also had a friend so kwa ploti there's there's a, they, they, they were two different to plot is so mbele ya plot mbele yake kulikuwa anga na bishtengo alikuwa anakaduka so i told my friend but lani kange kwa house hapa nje si nikam nipika nge chipo hapa so and she told me yeah there's no problem mm-hmm. so nikaanza kupika chipo but then it was it was catching up so mm-hmm. bishtengo kwa na ha na huyu sasa anaendelea So uh, we had so ni mechukua mtoi sasa tumeanza kuishi na mtoi. Mm. So bishtangwa kona ai huyu ni kama anaendelea. Huyu mm. ni kama So kaniambia now you have to buy alikuwa amenipea alikuwa amenipea ile karai ya chipo na kijiko mm. and aki everything tu ni alikuwa amenipea. Jua hata waru na mafuta ya kuanzisha ni alikuwa amefanya nini? Alikuwa amenipea so nikauza nikamrudishia. Mm. And ika pick Okay. And ikafika some point so unajua pia iki 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 pick the boyfriend and on a ah, na si una hustle si you can also buy food kwa nyumba yeah. it is not that much but utanunua tu ju uh, pia mtu hii hata lala njaa yeah. so ikiendelea tu hivyo so bishtengwa kaniambia one day kaniambia kesho mm-hmm. mwenye hii pan anaikujia okay So I told her there's no problem. Utampea tu. Utampea tu pani yake. Okay. Little did I know that ni vile amaisi vibaya. I'm still I'm I'm growing. Yeah, you're gro- I'm yeah. growing. Mm-hmm. So and we had tulikuwa na watoto sisi wawili na walikuwa age mate. So my kid used to 
to kuchokoza the the kid so and she was not feeling good about it so badala niambie mimi i don't feel good about it unaona tatafuta tu atanitafutia makosa so and that's it na nikaacha kupika so kabakivo kabakivo you are back to the hands again au na kitu ya kufanya sina kitu ya kufanya so watu wa rochafu mm so life now is becoming tough okay that is in 2021 2020 mm-hmm. 2021 mm-hmm. easy mezi kwanza january february march april mm-hmm. so i nika decide manze mimi sijamazi tena itabidi nimwambia fadhima hey, mimi nateseka so ikifika hiyo point i don't know hasuli yake ikakaaje mm-hmm. ikakaaje so this guy used to take keg used to chew mira used to take cigarettes so this guy hata kwa size of vitu hata kwa size of vitu at the end of the day but you guys mtakosa kitu ya kukula kwa nyumba mm. una get yeah. anikaambia fadhi nimechoka manze i i i didn't tell you nikienda but I'll, i'll tell you right now mm. manze it is not easy so my dad was just look for a day ukuje tuonge tuonge kaambia ni sawa so i would go home i would go home from that place maybe i would walk and i kupatana mtu do unapatana mtu so unajua busy yangu ni atu sienta unapata mtu anakuambia kubeba unamwambia hapana niko exercise sasa hiyo mtu ajui ni mbao ya kupanda gari hauna na utaki kwa utaki kuwaonyesha una utaki kuwaonyesha una struggles so unasema tu niko exercise So I used to go home. Nikipata nyanya, nikipata vitungu, nikipata ndizi, nikitachuna materere. Mpaka mama ananiuliza wewe, uko sawa? Are you okay? Mimi naambia mama, mimi niko sawa. So mm. unajua sitaki kuonyesha like mwanzee mimi nateseka. Mm. At 23 unateseka. Unaenda home kwenu kuchukua ndizi. Ai, that is No, I wouldn't advise anyone to do that. Mm. So nika, ai, naambia madhe hapa na mimi niko sawa. Niko mm. sawa. So hadi na mambia asunsaidie 50 bob. So unaona ile tu joking I will look for something that will look like a joke but deep down nahitaji yo 50 bob. Yeah. So madha ya nipea 50 bob maybe na panda gari na rudi kwa hao. Unabaki na 30 bob. Unabaki na 30 bob. Mm-hmm. Una get your struggle. So it was not easy. 23 you're married you don't have even money. The guy you're married to doesn't even have anything. So unaona tu you guys are clashing every time because you want to eat nimetoka nyumba yenye mnaulizwa mtakula nini leo alafu unaenda kwenye lazima nitafute hiyo mandizi mm. there's a time hata nilichonga hiyo mandizi nikachemsha and we ate with my son ikiwa hivyo ikiwa hivyo wa okay mm-hmm. so hey manze hiyo life hapana mm-hmm. that is in 2021 mm-hmm. So so unona nimeambia father nimemwambia manze it is not easy so father can metafuta siku ukuje tuonge so and i went and told father nikamwambia si rahisi vile unafikiria manze na jua nimekosea i didn't tell you when i was going mm-hmm. unaona so mm-hmm. that's why nimekwambia mzazi ata accept but deep down he's not he's happy, not happy. Mm-hmm. you um disappoint so ikafika point nikakuwa ai na feel manze mimi ni disgrace kwa mzazi. Mm. Nimem disappoint ndo mimi nilipata mimba nikiwa kole ndo mimi you know umeshaolewa yeah. hajakuja hata kuambiwa manze mimi ndo niko na msichana wako. Unajua siku hizi tunajipeleka hata ungoje mtu akuje kusema unaambiwa tu siku mbili ah ushaenda. Mm. But the, that guy ataishi kukudharau totally kukudharau ju hapo kukujia mm. hata ajaske ile uchungu yani makujia huu mtu you know mm. ataishi kukudharau so if you want to get married just use an official procedure pelekwa nyumbani wacha kijana sembe nimekukujia these are my parents i want this lady you know something official mm. at least hata mzazi atakuwa ana feel proud at least i have a daughter wangu hata feel proud sikusema nikienda nilitoroka mm ndo mimi nishaanza kukula shida mm. so my dad akaniita tukaanza kuongea and i told him everything i told him this guy hustles mimi sikata yeye ana hustle but at the end of the day atapata za kujibamba lakini hakuna kitu atapata 
So tulianza tulianza from scratch. Mimi nilimpata bila anything. Tulikuwa tunapika na stove. Ile really stove unatokanga kuzimia hapo nje ndio yule moshi si waribu. Yeah. Dini. So 2021 April nilikuwa home. So tumeongea na father father ameniambia that is your you made your decision. That was your choice. Mm. You know consequences. Mm. Yeah. Like follow. So nikakumbuka Fadhia Shai niambia kwa ina meeting tukiwa na kijana be prepared be prepared for the worst hoping for the best. Mm-hmm. He repeated the same thing be prepared for the worst hoping for the best. Mm-hmm. We nikakumbuka kairudia tena. Kaniambia now that those are your choices you made your choices nilijaribu kukuongelesha but haukusikia and these are the consequences yes, exactly mm-hmm. so i'm like it is okay it is my choice but sasa niko hapa nimekuwa remorseful dad i'm here i'm your daughter what should i do ah i used to go to church and cry na lia na lia naambia mungu wenyewe god sikusikiza but why, why are you punishing me like this hmm mm-hmm. So like ata hawezi pata ya kitu ya kubaya mtoto nguo like even a shilling hauna lazima umwambie maybe pia yeye ana struggle mm-hmm. but you know me my problem was ama my worry was you're getting something to drink you're getting something to buy and chew mira you know but kwa nyumba hautapata anything so that 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 was my worry mm-hmm. so and we used to fight a lot ile verbally see physical verbally so and she used to tell me hata nikibaiwa na marafiki zangu kwa ni wewe unakasirika so i'm like ukiona unabaiwa na marafiki zako that means hata wewe kuna time ushai 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 wa baia mm-hmm. um so ikaendelea tu hivyo in 2021 hata mtoi wangu nilikuwa na account ngo zenye yako nazo juu siezi afford yani unateseka na kwa tio 20s ali 20s hata si late 20s mm-hmm. So I used to have one pair of shoes. Ilikuwa karaba shoes. Kwanza na nifadhali kwa amenibaia. Kalikuwa karaba shoes ka white ka kinda karaba. Kalikuwa kametoboka na huko chini. So I used to kuvaa. Unajua nika kitu unaweza vana dress, unaweza vana trouser, unaweza vana anything. So and ikafika point kwa na by the way I made a mistake. And I have to go back to my parents and tell them you know what i made a mistake but god nae ni nani nikapata job so nimepata job 2021 april kwanza niki receive call nilikuwa home madhali kwa amenipigia kaniambia ah kuna zile unaona hizi mbosho mbichi za kutoa mbaya kunazo hapa kama tutoe ukichukua kidogo ukapike so nika receive call nikamwambia hata i guess it's my cousin who called me she's called Christine nikaniambia manze sasa kuz po sana kuna job inapatikana mahali chogoria uko wapi nikamwambia niko home kaniambia enda whiskey nimesikia ni ya sales but mimi si hizi job ya sales mm. so i'm like wanalipa how much <laughs> kazi ningo kaniambia una utaka kuuliza unalipa how much ama unataka kujua job iko wapi mm. so nikamwambia madhe madhe kaniambia enda sai sai enda usikize vile wanakuambia okay. so nikacha madhe mimi nikaenda and ilikuwa job ya sales i had to go to to get trained at Embu for two days then come back ndio ni ambiwe vile job itaenda so when i told the the baby daddy he told me no your sales your job na skianga ni ya watu you know hoes yeah ni like hiyo mm-hmm. job hapana hauwezi fanya so the ukichwangumi in me ikaniambia lazima uende i job umeteseka for all that long hauna job hauna anything you know alafu tena mtu arudi akwambie usiende kazi mm-hmm. So mimi nikamwambia kama ni leo ni leo mimi nitafanya nini nitaenda. So kulikuwa ilikuwa season ya kunyesha. And let me tell you the kiatu that I had silikuwa imetoboka. So you can imagine imeingiza maji. I had to go I had to go to Jogoria kuchukua fare ya kwenda Embu jo alikuwa ananilipea fare. Imeingiza maji vizuri. Nilikuwa nilikuwa uende Jogoria then I come back kuchukua gari za Embu. So imeloa maji hata before ni pande gari. Kiatu iko na maji yote. So nikachukua fare it is 500. So hii 500 lazima uibudgetie. Yeah. 
lazima ulipe fair by that time tulikuwa tunalipa so kwenda embu mm-hmm. lazima ulipe fair so that is 200 to and fro mm-hmm. umeachwa na 300 mm-hmm. maybe hiyo 300 ndio utakuja mpike sapa mm-hmm. so i oh na nilikuwa na chama nalipa 100 so that is 300 nimebaki na 200 mm-hmm. So ata kwa nje uweze nunua anything because hii pesa yenu uko nayo huko umeibudgetia already. Mm-hmm. So I went to Embu from from Chogoria nililia mpaka Mutondori. Kulia machozi mpaka mtu tuko tumekitenia kanza you okay? Do you have a problem? I'm like no, I'm okay. I don't have a problem. So ni imagine kiatu yangu yani vidole zime zimeganda juu ya baridi. Yeah. Kiatu iko na maji. Na huna pesa ya kubai kiatu. Sina pesa ya kubai kiatu. Siwezi pigia fadhi. Nimwambi. Na si ti fadhi is hana do. Anaweza nisaidia. Mm. But at the same time, nikimpigia ataka kunikumbusha nilifanya mistake yeah, yeah. of which najaribu tu ku cover up. So kaboku kula tu ujeuri wangu. Eh ni kama tuko kula ujeuri wangu pole pole. Ujeuri kanitandika. Mm. So I went to he- Embu nikafanya training nikarudi nikambua ntarudi the following day I went I did the training again and uh, nikambua nitaenda Kirogoya I did the jo- I did the training for two days again and I came I came back so nikakuja nikambua I'll be I'll be the sales executive or sales manager so I I started there mm-hmm. and I started earning now life changed you know okay. unajaribu ku imagine ulikuwa na struggle hauna kazi this guy was maybe ana hustle kidogo yenye anapata haitoshi bado unateseka na urudi tena uanze kupata sasa ikweni wewe sasa everything it's you anything yenye itakula kwa nyumba ni wewe rent ni wewe kila kitu una get so ulikuwa na expect ukipata job at least life ita change mtakuja wawili mlete vitu wa nyinyi wawili and msaidiane but it is not that way so sasa nimeanza ku earn sasa ndio life imeanza kukua easy you know i can at least go buy my son something at least akikwambia mama enda unilete unamletea mm. so una get sasa life imeanza kukua yeah imeanza kukua easy so at least uh, my dad akanipigia akaniambia eh hey, so nisaidie thau naweza msaidi i can conf- confidently send him some money because i have it my own money na earn pesa yangu Mm. And that's it that is 2021 May June July August you know nika hustle any life ikakuwa life ikakuwa a little bit better mm. than the way it was but sasa ilikuwa ni mimi personally wewe ndio ulikuwa unafanya kila kitu <coughs> mimi nilikuwa nafanya kila kitu but actually mimi from utotoni me I've loved having a family una get mm. ili I will go back I will go out hustle come back You know mm-hmm. napata mtu yeye amekungoja maybe your husband is waiting for you you know mm-hmm. but sasa it was totally different you guys are both mmetoka mmeenda ku hustle this guy is telling you me sina anything and it was not easy okay all right we mambo yamechemka hapa <laughs> we'll take a short break and be back for more Welcome back. So umepata job, umeanza ku earn at least. Yeah. So wewe ndo ulikuwa unafanya everything. Exactly. Paying the bills in the house, taking care of your son and even your own husband. Yeah, exactly. A grown baby. A grown baby boy, a grown baby boy. <laughs> okay, I love you. So how long how long did you manage to do all that? Um 2021 yote. 
and 2021 because I said enough is enough in 2022 January. Mm -hmm. That's when I said enough is enough. What happened? Nini likufanya uka feel like ah yeah no now this is it I'm done sasa mimi na nilichoka. Nilichoka because nimeputa mm -hmm. nikachoka. Any ushayona me ni ule mtu nita I will keep on saying it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's okay until I get tired. So I got tired. Mm -hmm. And I said you know what? I can't do this anymore. Mm. Okay, na see leno shoni am kuna kuna no shoni ya ati when when your husband is not working, ma ma dem wanza ma darau ama wives wana zanga ah ah. This is someone mekana yeye. It was not working even the time you didn't have a job ama you didn't have money. It is not still working when you have money mm -hmm. and you have a job. Okay, like you are out there doing the best you can, but he's not showing any effort. Exactly. So it's it's like it was a one-sided thing. Yeah. Ukachoka. Nikachoka. It is one-sided. So ah, manze ni machoka. Manze mi ni mudogo manze. Niko twenty-six. Aye. Ukachoka. Mi ni kachoka. Then what happened after machoka? So after ni machoka, I called my dad. Hey, God bless that father. I called my dad. So ni kambi ai manze. It is one, two, three, and ni machoka. Ni mechoka kufunikia. Unajua kifunikia. If you if you funikia something, it will rot. Then ni nanza kutoa. Yeah. So ni kama mbia misita funikia tena. Ni mefunikia enough. So that told me I think we'll have a meeting with the mom. So with the 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 mom to the baby daddy. Na mama yangu na mimi na fadi. So Actually, they had a meeting before us, before us two were included, mm -hmm. the three of them. And they talked and they discussed. So I don't know, I don't know what they said. So we were called and we went. So, to kind of congear issues. So we were told, you guys are very young to be fighting over petty issues. Mm -hmm. You guys at a school, moja manafa kusema tatunenda nyuki for the weekend. Hmm? Sasa unashindwa na nyuki hata mtenta na nini? If this guy kila kitu ni wewe unafanya, tena urudi, tena ulipe fare kwenda na nyuki you guys go and chill. Mm -hmm. Like no. Hmm? So the mom was like you guys are too young to be fighting. You 26. So by that time ni magro ni 26. Mm -hmm. You go 26. Na mnaashinda mna fight juu ya kitu kidogo, kitu kidogo, kitu kidogo si juu hujapika, si juu hujafanya nini? You know, ata sisi tukiwa wanawake kwa nyumba, you 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 help someone. At least ukifika mbele yake si uoshe hata viombo basi. Ama upike umwambia nimepika ugali, we kama upike, kama upike mboga. Ama ni sawa acha mimi nipike wewe usha. Ah. You married, you providing, you doing everything, but this guy even washing utensils he can't. Acha kutoa kikombe kwa meza kupeleka kwa sisi. Hawezi. But okay job maybe nyinyi wote me hustle mmekuja mmechoka ya nakuja nekelea miguu kwa meza na nachukua remote so you have to cook you have to do everything like anze ah so we went for the meeting and we were told like if you guys are tired of each other see so you just leave before mukaanishe ama i don't think there's anything yenye inawasumbua For one, remember, Mimi si kusema ni kitoka home. And we are doing meetings with the mom of which they should be knowing that their son is married. He has married a girl from this family. But hawajai kuja kwetu, hawajai kuja kusema like they have, you know. So, that's it. Na tukambiwa tuende, we solve our issues. It was not working. Nilikuwa nisha choka. So that is to make up for around five years, six years, six years actually. Yeah, kutoka kwa boyfriend, ni makuja mimba, ni metaseka, ni me struggle six years. So, um, ni likuwa na fanya job. You know, sometimes that I give someone peace. If someone is doing you everything, mpe peace. Atani pigia simu sometimes ani ulize ukwapi. So, ni likuwa na fanya field work. 
So maybe nimetoka mbali tumechelewa hatujafika mapema. So this girl would call me. Kwani uko wapi? Si niko job natoka job. Hataki kusikia. He's like unafanya nini saa hii? Unafa So one day nikashikwa tu nikamuliza, mimi ni mtu mkubwa usiniulize maleniko. Mm-hmm. So he called my dad. Mm-hmm. Kambe no your daughter is asking me questions like nisi msimkuwa na muuliza mm-hmm. mali yako. Mm-hmm. And my, and I, my dad called me na nikamwambia si ni ukweli. I'm a grown up. Mm-hmm. So my dad was like you're married to this guy. And I'm like me I'm not married to this guy. Okay tunakaa pamoja but I'm not married to this guy. Mm-hmm. So I kafika point nikachoka. I'm totally tired. Like I feel kwenda kwa hiyo nyumba. Like nasikia jioni imefika na shindwa no. I just can't go. I'm I'm tired. Totally totally tired. I just need to go to at a friend's place and sleep there. But nenda na pika nikisikia kupika. So ilikuwa ilikuwa imefika point nikisikia nikijisikia. So na in mind me nilikuwa nafikiria marriage is sweet marriage is something good marriage mm. is something great but nikapata mimi yangu ni opposite of what i expected mm. So vile nilichoka i just called my dad when he been come dad nakuja home that i'm coming home mm. So i went home actually he took me home that man yeah like how could you like apana usiende we can work this to <laughs> no we have you know i was um um i'm literally stubborn myself so alikuwa ameniambia we can still work unajua unapenga mtu chances like we can do this we can work it out mm. so mimi nilikuwa nimemwambia we can do this we can work it out you know tunaweza ifanya then tunaweza afanya hii kitu na iwak to prove what wrong unajua ile like watu wamewaongea like amwezi enda mahali this guy wants to use you you know like we can prove people wrong but wapi you ran out of chances eish sikafika point nikasema no 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 mm-hmm. so actually he took me home can peleka home and nili 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 bebo na gari ya job so nikaenda home and he told my dad you know what mimi nimeshindwa na msichana wako na msichana wako and my dad my dad was like ah yeah mimi hajanishinda we muache hapa mimi hajanishinda so you, you can imagine any the disgrace yani the shame you back home you didn't say where well, you're going you hear uko na mtoi kimeniramba ukitedi una get mm. so ni kodi hapo hapo una ji humble yeah una ji humble kabisa so manze ku explain ya dad mumefanya na nini you know vitu mob mm. lazima u explain ya mzazi alafu my dad ni ule wa sheria yeah. so sema mumefanya na nini mm. like what were you doing so you know he has to drive all the way back in 2020 when i moved in mbono ulienda mbono ukusema i don't have even answers for that right now so nikaenda back home so bado niko job and actually i just carried everything that concerns me and i went with it home so now that is where tukaanza sasa so unajua niko home niko na mtoto nimekuja na mtoi wangu home ya yeah, ko peke yake So in mind yeah nafikiria nimechukua break. Utarudi. Nitarudi. Mm-hmm. So he would come come home anakuja anaongea but mimi in mind najua me I'm not going back home. Yeah. No matter what I'm not going back. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm not even 30 na nimeteseka hivi. Mm-hmm. Ah sitaki kuteseka tena. So yeah najua nitarudi but, but me in mind I'm not going back. So he used to come. So one time he called me and I will look for Wazes, we come and pick you. Nikamwambia wewe enda uwatafute mkikuja, mimi nitasema sitaki kurudi. So ukiwatafuta ukujanga in mind ukijua mimi sirudi. So ikakuwa like okay. Now I'm here. I'm a single mom. Niko na mtoto peke yangu. So how do we raise this kid while he's there and I'm here? Ha. My dad my dad akaniuliza unakumbuka nikikiuliza huyu mtoto 
kukakuwa babake hata utafanya aje do you remember that question nikasema nitaweza nimbe now this is the right time mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you can say it so tukaka and that's it i got a friend who used to come to my workplace to greet me he was a guy he had a car so alikuwa anakuja na pack hapo anakuja maybe anatupeleka lunch na au fellow wakazi wengine so this guy anasema he's coming to see me so you can imagine he even went to my dad and told my dad that this guy is this girl is getting married again so unajua mtoto wangu hata lelewa na pesa za other men you know you're telling my dad you're telling my dad this thing mbono naambia babangu vitu kama hizi so he said if you've decided to get married you know me i'm not going to to kufanya anything ya mtoto nikamwambia me there's no problem i'll take care of my kid struggles bado azijaisha so we stayed anakuja kuwa na mtoto maybe anakuja huko akienda na mbaya ya kasoda kale kadogo the small soda anakuja na so my dad told me one day like mbona umezoesha huu mtu hivi he'll come pick the kid and yani he won't do anything so you be prepared once and for all if you want to take care of your kid fully ama you want to involve this guy and if you have to involve this guy may it be legal like muende muandikiane and what what blah 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 so at some point nilikuwa nimefika nikaona like i can't do this alone like i still have to involve him unaona so we used to communicate eh anantumia 200 anantumia so unaona naona ni kama tutasaidiana but at the end of the day hatusaidiani so fadhili kaniambia we jipange tu itaji kwa legal ama akuachi mtu hii kabisa ama mko parent na ikuwe legal so me i'm like maybe this guy kwa kitu kingine kana nikuja kana niambia ama this guy might change maybe nimemfunza lesson enough mm-hmm. i can go back na tuanze life so did you go back no okay. i didn't go back mm-hmm. i can't go back mm-hmm. kaki to shuka na niambia unaweza rudi maybe amesoma lesson enough so but at, at the end alikuwa ananiambia tu yeye pia nimejifunza nimelearn nimelearn lessons nimejua what to do nimejua how to handle things But at the same time nilikuwa najiambia ile siku nitapanga kutoka I won't go back. Mm. So I remember that thing I will never go back. And that's it and that's how I became a single mother. Nalea mtoto wangu peke yangu. So like the dad neglected the kid kabisa. Eh, yeah, right now he doesn't do anything. Mm-hmm. Like you, you have to sort yourself out. Mm-hmm. You have to figure things out. Na ukachana tunaye. Na nikachana na yeye kabisa. Okay, so after umetoka kwake ukarudi back home, inajua you are you are wounded. Exactly. The wounds are fresh. Yeah, yeah. So when you went back home ndo ulianza ku heal ama it took some time. Healing. Mimi ni heal nikiwa kwake. <laughs> Before you talk. Before you talk. Because it's something we've been talking to and fro kila time kila time. Like do we solve this? When will we solve this? nimechoka i'm tired like i'm tired kila siku i'm tired we are not doing this things right i'm tired you know nika heal nikiwa kwa relationship so ukitoka ulikuwa ube heal nikitoka ni manisha i'm ready to move on nilikuwa nisha heal because the moment the moment umekaa ukirudia kitu unazoea nanga na hiyo kitu so you don't feel anything so mimi nilikuwa nimezoea like inanichosha but nimeput up nayo tu kabisa nasikia like ah, sisiki kwenda kwa hiyo nyumba mm. unapata nimechoka i would even tell my friend ah, si nikuja leo nilale kwako he's like apana we weenda mm-hmm. so i would go unafika point mko wawili kwa nyumba but buying something in that house ya kupika pia ni difficult mm. ju sitaki kununua na hataki kununua amenichokesha una get nilikuwa nishachoka na nime heal mm-hmm. how is life right now uh, it is not bad mm-hmm. simbaya are you happy yes i'm happy 
and you have a piece of money exactly okay. like shilingi ni yangu nikitafuta ni yangu like i don't have to depend on anyone mm-hmm. though sometimes you have to depend on someone but kuna ile ya sana unajua this is my this is my husband this is someone that i depend on mm. this is someone i can call mtoi akikosa fee lakini sasa unajua sasa hii ni wewe mm. it is you okay. and you alone okay. whether una, uko na hustle ama hauna huu mtoi anakudependia mm. fully yeah. kabisa so you have to go out there and, and work hard mm-hmm. and everything yeah. have you moved on from all that um actually i have mm-hmm. yeah Are you in a relationship right now? Um, well. <laughs> I'll say it's complicated. <laughs> it's a yes or no. Um, no. no. I'm not. You're not. So yeah. kosoko. Eh, yeah. but uko kosoko. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you feel like you will love again and get married again? Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> huh. I've been through a lot. I don't think I can. But loving again and trusting someone to me it is difficult. Okay. Yeah. Because it was once broken. In that span of 2022 January and 2023, apa katikati have been through a lot so it will take time maybe to trust someone fully like to trust kabisa ile ku trust someone mm. okay but uh, um if if you found a good guy or a suitable man mm-hmm. you'd settle down again yeah tuna songa vibaya sana okay yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh so wewe ni wale wa uh, kuoga na kurudi soko sasa uko soko sasa hii unaoga na unarudi soko okay it is okay i still do believe in true love Mm-hmm. there's true love mm-hmm. you can get someone mwenye mtasaidiana naye kwa life like he's not self centered ama selfish yeah. he you you just there to help each other like manze you know what niko na 20 na mimi niko na 15 can we do something mm-hmm. you know una, una get yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you, each other. yeah you can get someone mwenye mtapelekana naye mahali mm-hmm. it is not all about himself or my soul it's not all about myself yeah. 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 Okay. So, All right. So, uh Glory. Yes. What can you tell uh people that will watch this episode? There are those mm-hmm. maybe who are in in the similar situation you are in here early marriage. Mm-hmm. Ama maybe kuna mtu mahali anataka kujaribu, ama kuna mtu pia alikuwa akatoka. Mm-hmm. So, what can you tell them? One. Mm-hmm. Kindly don't get married early at 22 21 22 23 24 25 you can even get married at 30 and it is okay um three kindly have your own money having your own money is good have your own money at least if you have to do something you don't have to beg or borrow like utanyimwa na utasikia vibaya at the end of the day juu of course utanyimwa nayo kunyimwa iko utanyimwa tu have your own money at least have something you can do usiku na chotu kwa nyumba umeketi unangoja mtu akujejioni akuletesa hapa like get out there and hustle yeah what else can i say um, i can say like have have legal procedures when you want to go to so, to stay in someone's house like you want us to to stay together kindly can you come home say that mimi ndo niko na msichana we want to start life you know at least your parents are proud of you at least they can say msichana wetu amenda na njia mzuri si kwa mkatu siku moja na wewe ushaolewa hapana utaulizwa swali this this there's a day tulikuwa na vurugu akaniuliza mimi nilikukujia ama wewe ulijileta can you can imagine such a question na angekukujia maybe angekuuliza hivyo um but at the same time don't rush for things maybe it will work for you it will not work for someone else it didn't work for me it won't work for you just don't rush at you 21 and you're in a serious relationship for who at you want to get married at 21 at 22 no 
you will get tired kabisa kabisa tired like kabisa utachoka before imagine umefikisha miaka 30 uliolewa na 21 before you get to 30 years those are nine years uko kuondoa imekuchosha umechoka hata wewe mtu mwenye ne mkone amekuchokesha tu kabisa so at least have fun half sometimes i usually tell my friends mimi after college i didn't have time to 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 be peke yangu like be in my own house have my own rules if i get there and get late hakuna mtu ataniuliza like umetoka wapi unaona there is that period yenye uko peke yako you want to do what is right maybe umekosea mahali umeka peke yako umeji umeji una get mimi sikupata hiyo time nimetoka college i'm pregnant i went to marriage haijawaka i went back home so una get hata home ukiwa home utaulizo umetoka wapi saa tatu ya usiku ukichele umeingia saa tatu bwana na kuuliza umetoka wapi at least have time have that time for yourself jirentie nyumba at least unafika saa 4 hakuna mtu anakuuliza umetoka wapi you want to get home at 7 there is no one bwana umerudi mapema hivi leo you know have have that time for yourself yes that is all i can tell the ladies out there don't just rush into marriage maybe it is sweet as people say maybe it will work for you but it won't work for someone else ama it won't work for me but at the same the e generation yetu tuko nayo kuelewa mapema pia ni stress jo mtu atakupea tu pressure buri kabisa yeah okay all right thank you so much glory for sharing your story Uh, marriage is not an easy thing it's a task that's one thing for sure and uh ata mimi na support hapo umesema don't rush take your time you should give each other enough time you know to know each other uh, and also to get to understand um, ujue kama utawezana naye ama hautawezana nayo and um This is for people who will be watching this episode. Maybe if you are some if you are in marriage and you are struggling, there's a lot of pressure and you feel like you cannot do it anymore. It is okay. You don't have to continue, you know, like struggling and being in it. You know, we would rather have you go back and get out of it alive than coming to get you, you know, when you are dead ama is of it So, thank you so much Glory for sharing this story. I know it will encourage someone out there. Okay, Glory, what do you do? Uh currently I'm doing nothing. I'm back at home helping here and there. Mm-hmm. So I'm not that much engaged, but I'm qualified uh in travel and tourism management. Mm-hmm. I also ventured in hospitality, being a receptionist, I can be a waitress. I also do well in sales and marketing since I've had an experience of one and a half years mm-hmm. doing sales and marketing right. those are the fields that i can comfortably say i'm good in all right yeah. okay you've had it guys so if you hear anything or you have something that you can do please she will highly appreciate help us by subscribing to our channel golden act tv a r c drop a comment like hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every time we upload a video thank you so much subscribe thank you for watching